Andre, good to see you. You've been here at Villa Park today, meeting some of the fans. Just tell us how, how that's been. Yeah, I, um, I enjoy meeting the fans. Um, always puts a smile on my face, like some of the things that you receive and just giving something back to the fans. I was obviously once a fan and um, even like the little kids, when I was a little kid, I always wanted to meet players. Um, so it's just like, it's a really, I'm privileged to be in this position to, to be able to make people happy and I'm happy I did it today. Just moving on to on the field matters, just sum up the mood in the dressing room right now after a, what's been a brilliant run of form. Yeah, I think the mood is the best it's probably ever been, obviously, on the runs, the, the wins we're going on now, the run that we've been on. You, you wouldn't expect anything less than a, a really happy dressing room. Um, the confidence is obviously flying. Um, there's a lot of banter going on as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a really good environment to be in at the minute. And you just enjoy training when it's like this and you enjoy going in and you look forward to seeing the boys. And during that sticky patch in February, did you always believe that we were capable of a run like this? Yeah, we've arguably got the best best team in the league. Um, the players we've got, it's, it's no joke. So we, we, weren't, we weren't worrying one bit. We knew that we could turn it around and we were waiting for a few players to come back, obviously, to, to give a bit of a boost. And, and thankfully it's turned our way now and we're on a, a massive run. And looking at your own personal form, how do you feel you've settled back in now after returning from your loan spell at Portsmouth in January? Yeah, it was, it was different for me to go out on loan. I just knew I had to just play with a smile on my face and, and just try and produce more and not, not, in a way, not go back out on loan. I wanted to stay here and, and it made me work harder to cement a place, um, to play on the wing and just keep competition high for anyone that wants to come in. Um, but yeah, I feel like my form going into the games that I've played, they've been good. They've been, but I know I can get better um, and I know that I can, I can do more than what I'm producing. But I'm really happy with how things are going. Um, and it's a, a big few months, last month of the season where we can, hopefully I'm involved and we can get a few good results. Now we all know about the quality in the squad, but how important a factor is genuine hard work? And I think a good example of that being your brilliant assist for our opener at Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think I was going to get there, to be fair. Um, a few people that I spoke to didn't think I was going to get there, but I just never gave up on it. And I think that's the good thing with having pace. Um, just run after everything. And thankfully I got there, surprised myself though. And is that something that's been emphasised from the coaching staff to never give up? You know, do the basics well and you'll get your rewards. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the way we're playing now is it's like that never give up attitude. We, um, if, even if we go one goal, like if we went a goal down, couple of games ago and and normally probably last year we would have lost that game um, so to not give up is is what the manager really believes in and you can see that in the results that we go one nil down and we come through it's like 10 men against Rotherham win 2-1 so yeah never give up that truly is what you need in this game. Just on the head coach you've enjoyed a good run in the team of late what has Dean Smith said to you over recent weeks in order for you to try and perform to the best of your ability? I think it comes down to the training ground where he works. He works really closely with your unit. Like him and Richard, they work one on one uh, after training, but they want your input as well. So they want you to go up to them. Um, but I think it's just staying behind after training. He would sit down with you, call you in the office, tell you what you need to do, um, and he, he, he believes in you. He, if you're lacking belief, he'll tell you what you're good at. But he'll be honest as well. So it's just a good. It's a good manager to have, especially for me, um, being young as well. He's, he's, the belief he puts in us is um, it's what you need and hopefully I can, I can perform well under him and become a player that I, I know I can be. And just the high level of competition in those wide areas in Anwar and Albert, does that help you to become a better player? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the competition is massive in the team. Um, you can see the gaffer, he changes it on the wing. It's either me and Anwar, Albert Anwar, changes it every time. So. Um, it's a good rotation, it's a good competition to perform the best you can perform and it's what you need in, in football, you need that half competition of where you'll just, you'll go stale and you'll get complacent so yeah currently just working hard and training um, all three of us and it's like a, it's a good rivalry to have. I just want to quickly touch on the chants that are going around at the moment, yours being there, he's one of our own, just how much of a positive impact can that have on the players having that level of support from the fans? Yeah, I think the moment I came back um, from Portsmouth for my first game, they were calling, they were chanting that on the sidelines and 
I think from the, the very first, that very first moment, then it set me up for the whole, like, until where I am now, to, to get a good run of games, because it's what I, I was missing, you know what I mean? It was like, it was just good to come back to, to give me that confidence and that belief. Um, and the fans don't really understand that, because we, we don't get to say it, but that's what I want to say. It really does push players and, and people to, to perform their best. So, yeah, I think whenever someone chants your name, especially in a stadium like this, you'll fill you with belief. Just looking ahead, it's a busy Easter weekend with a trip to Bolton before hosting Millwall on Monday. What's your general thoughts ahead of those? Yeah, we've got a good chance um, to go more games unbeaten. We've got a very good chance. Um, the position that Bolton are in, we can't take that for granted. Um, and we've just got to go into the game as we would as a normal game and just try our best and just keep scoring like what we're doing. We can't get complacent. So yeah, the next two games, two games in Friday, Monday, um, just got to keep the same mentality and just take it game by game and just keep winning. And how important is rest and recovery during a hectic schedule? We've seen some of the pictures of some late nights at Bodymore Heath after the away games. Just give us an yeah. insight into what that's it, like. Yeah, we don't get back till about two in the morning sometimes and then sometimes in the next day. But that's the thing with the championship. You've got a lot of games. Um, you need to get your recovery right. And um, yeah, the, since the gaffer come in, he's, he's, he's right on to that. Like, he, he wants us in the next day and um, early hours of the morning. But you can see it helps on the pitch and it makes us feel better. Um, so you, you can't do, you can't not do it, if you know what I mean. It's, it's what we do, we put in the hard hours after everyone's gone home and stuff, and it shows on the Saturday. And Dean Smith has alluded to it in recent interviews, but is it just a case of taking it one game at a time at the moment and not thinking too far ahead? Yeah, I think you have to. Um, you can't start looking now at the playoffs. Um, I know everyone's getting excited, but we're in a good position, but we can't let our heads drift away with it, we need to stay grounded, um, otherwise in this league you'll just, you'll get caught up in it and you'll, you'll end up in a worse position. So yeah, it's game by game, every game we go into we prepare for that game, we focus on that game so we don't look too far ahead. And just finally, it must be exciting to be involved in a team that is really pushing for something at the end of the season. Yeah, I think this is, since coming through the academy, this is the most exciting time. Uh, last year was a good year, uh, apart from the disappointment in the final. but. This year is um, definitely the best, I think, for any player to come come and play. Um, and to come here and play against play against us in this team, I wouldn't want to play against us at Villa Park. So, yeah, it's a very good moment at the minute and we just got to keep going.